I now introduce you to the Finger Smasher 3000, <laughs> sold on a limited basis. And if you want to buy your own Finger Smasher 3000, just call 1-800-OUCH. Hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. Today, we figured we'd work on our little air inlet box. Um, I got a couple leads off the comments on YouTube, but none that made it show up here and in the timely frame that I wanted. I was kind of impatient. But, but we do appreciate all the comments. We do appreciate all the comments. As always. As always. And basically, since this one is already trashed, I'm going to drill the rivets out of this and we're going to see what we can take apart and what we can fix ourselves. There's no guarantee we're going to fix anything, but it's not working real well at this moment. So we figured we'd give it yeah, a shot. Yeah. Well, number one thing is vacuum that out. Yeah, that's going to be the first. So for all the headphone users, I'm probably going to mute this right now when I turn the vacuum cleaner on because I'm sure that blow you out but yeah for that was that's some crusty rusty stuff right there yeah so for the next few seconds we'll mute it <laughs> just to save everybody One hundred and ten percent better. That actually worked better than I thought it would. Yeah, I mean, and I swear those look like plastic. Not like real rivets. Real rivets. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they are real rivets. Once the drill hits them, that will tell me. But I swear they look like plastic. So I'm going to be headphone friendly too while running the drill. I'll just either put the volume down really, really low, and make this the world's quietest drill. <laughs> Ooh, the center was still in it. Oh, right through the plastic. popped right out this one not so much yep there we went now that one kind of looks like it's already gone well that would be helpful that would be helpful hey they're coming out a heck of a lot easier than I thought they would. So, you know, sometimes on our own cars that come through the shop, we sometimes have to do things like this. When you can't make get a part, you, you got to make a part. You got to make a part. You got to make it work. So this is nothing new for us here at A&D. Except for, it's not on a car. Yeah, it's a large car. A large car. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, see where I went there with it? See where you went there. I 
Well, that rivet doesn't seem to be connected to anything. And there's not much metal left there. Well, it's somewhat moving. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, there's not much. Goodness. Oh, yeah. Looks like a, you're making, making moves now. Yeah, but there's not much of it left to make moves on. No. Oh, I think that one's still holding me. Oh, okay. Now see that little number right there? Red dot? Someone said to look that up. And I look, pulled up that red dot and looked through their catalog, put in their number and everything, and nada. Nothing. So I don't know whether the assembly is a different number or what they have, but hmm. nada. It was <laughs> So I tried. You gave it a valiant effort. but it's hung on something. Maybe I need my flashlight so I can see what it's hung on. Maybe. I'm betting they're hearing my shoe squeak now. <laughs> I'm wearing I'm wearing my microphone. We were told that I had to wear microphones that I wasn't talking loud enough. So I'm wearing my microphone, but I'm betting <laughs> they're they're hearing the squeak of the shoe. I'm shoes. betting my shoe squeaking now. <laughs> I don't know that there's enough of this left to come out, but there's enough of it left to hold it. Yeah. There oh, look. Yikes. We got big progress happening now. Mm-hmm. Let's see if the airline may be holding it. that lovely thing. Oh, you just put a screwdriver through it. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Looky there. Wow. Well. Now, mm. plastic's fine. Needs a little bit of weather stripping. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, there's the dream. See down in, see down in there? Yeah. So it had a drain. I'm guessing it couldn't do its job when it was stuffed full. And this couldn't do its job when it was completely rusted. Wow. Yeah. 
I don't know if there's going to be any fixing of this. I mean, I can probably, it would probably be a lot easier to make a new metal frame and weld this screen to it. Because this one's junk. <laughs> this one is. I mean. It's seen better days. Yeah, it's. I mean, even the frame. Oh, I didn't even see that part. Is Look. not holding together anymore. It's. Yeah. And you said that flap is. I didn't even. Uh, I didn't even try the cylinder. Before he cut it. Yeah, but. If the cylinder goes flat, it should be. Yeah, air pressure in. Wonder if I can, uh, let's try the air nozzle just to see if it'll move. Not that it matters. I'm just curious. Okay. No, I'm careful not to hit the hose on the freshly painted truck. Yes, let me, let me pause this for a second and go and help. <laughs> okay, so we got the hose over here without harming the nut. Without harming the truck, the we got the hose the over here. Um... <laughs> So let's see what let's, let's see if the door even works. All right. Oh. Oh, hey. Man. Man, that thing's got some. I now introduce you to the Finger Smasher <laughs> 3000. Sold on a limited basis. And if you want to buy your own Finger Smasher 3000, <laughs> just call 1-800-OUCH. <laughs> Yeah, that. That's got some force. And you can get your shot of tetanus <laughs> while you're here. We're a one stop shop. Tetanus and smash your fingers all at once. <laughs> uh, oh, let's not. Well, the cylinder works, which is great. But, the, but the box is junk. This box is totally junk. I mean,. The door looks in relatively good shape itself. And like I say, the cylinder seems to be working great. The other air cylinders in the truck leak, but this one doesn't seem to be. Of course it's not. <laughs> it's the one we really don't care about. Um, but yeah, this is junk. If anything, I'm gonna have to remake this box. Well, oh, let's, I will call Peterbilt in the morning because it's, well, 5.02 now. They will be closed. Mm -hmm. I am I am doing this too late in the work day. So in the morning, we will call Peterbilt and see if this is even available. Right, like as one. Like we yeah, if, if this is available as a new unit, that would save me massive hours of work because I could remake this out of sheet metal. It's nothing but sheet metal that was bent to begin with. We could remake it, but if it doesn't exist, you know, if it does exist and it's sitting on a shelf somewhere, it'll save us a lot of time. But I was going to show you all my little handy dandy thread checker here because Everyone's told me there is a filter that goes on the outside of the truck. This goes through the wall of the truck. These screws went from the outside, and they said there is a filter that you can buy that supposedly sheds the water off instead of the water running in the truck. It keeps the bigger stuff. It keeps supposed to keep bugs and other stuff out, too. But... I would need longer screws to go through that. So to check my little thread checker here. I think that's a, um, we got this off Amazon, didn't we? Yeah, so it's not a 1032. Let's see if it's a 1024 thread. Oh, 
1024. Feels like the... The winner? It feels like the appropriate thread, and we can also check it. Let's check it in the box. Set the screw down. Get it lined up, that would help greatly. Okay. There we go. So anyone that was interested, it is the number 10, 24 thread that actually threads into the box. So if you run into this too and need a longer screw, now I have been told that this pattern is different on a later 379 and a 389, they changed this pattern. So I've got to find the earlier pattern as our truck is a 1994. Okay. Because 359s were made up to 87, and then 379s were made from 1987 to 2007. And then after that was the 389 trucks. But somewhere in the 379 model year, maybe it was when they went to Unibuilt Sleepers. Maybe. Somebody comment. Yeah, let us know. If that was what that caused this changeover when they went to Unibuilt Sleepers, because I know they modified some of the cabs. Well, that so, would make sense. So maybe, but let's get a tape measure. And see what we got. And we'll go over measurements. So when we call tomorrow, you'll have When we that. call tomorrow, and I call Peterbilt, like I say, of course it's 5.05 when we were at 5.02 when I got this out and started on it. We were, other things were happening today. Yes. <laughs> and for those that have been a long time member of the channel, the Mercedes is back. <laughs> Yeah, and the village rejoiced. <laughs> the old Mercedes. So, let's see. The holes appear to be two and seven-eighths apart. And these appear to be right on four-inch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're two and seven-eighths, yeah. Two and seven eighths apart, and there is ten holes. Now I think the one you pull up on the internet shows a different bolt pattern. Like say it's newer, it fits the later model three seventy nines and the three eighty nines, but that's not the one we need. So let's uh, after we call Peterbilt tomorrow, let's continue this. Sounds like a plan. yeah. We'll. We'll pick After up. I make a call tomorrow, we'll check back in with everybody. Okay, it's now the next day, and we have had an epic fail. <laughs> I spent an hour on the phone with Peterbilt, and we found all the red dot numbers of what this is, what the assembly was, everything. No longer made. None of them have it. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah, womp, womp, womp. So I went... And I checked with Dirks and other people suggested, let's see, what was the suggestions? Frontier truck parts. I checked with them. I also went to three local tow and wrecker companies that deal with big rigs, and none of them had a 379. Well, let me take it back. One of them did have one. One had a 379, and it was a rolled over truck. And they told us we could scavenge whatever we wanted off of it. But it was a 99 model, and it's the wrong one. We were so sad. Yeah, so I, I thought I was in the money. They'd already taken the air cleaner. It already been knocked off the truck when it rolled. It was out of the way, everything, but it's the wrong one. And just for your information, on a 94, it's no longer an air cylinder. It's an electric servo motor that operates and shuts the door, and the door doesn't go left and right, basically. The door opens up and down on a 99. Huh? So maybe they changed their design to keep water in and out. They thought 
Maybe somebody realized the error of their ways. But so we're going to give it. We still have a couple more feelers out. We still have phone calls out. We've put them out to everybody in the trucking community we can think of. We are turning it up. Any of yeah, yeah, we're, favors? <laughs> any, any stone we haven't left unturned, um, we're still trying to find one. We're going to say, what do we give it? Two weeks? If we haven't found one in two weeks, we're going to remake this. Yeah. We're just going to sit down with sheet metal and we'll remake it. So. Which is yeah. not the end of the world. We just thought it would be nice to have. Yeah, it'd be nice to have one already done. Yeah. So we're going to give it two weeks. Uh, Y'all please comment. If you know of one that's local to Virginia, um, or that will ship to Virginia? Well, I'd like to see if it's this rusted. Oh, well, that's true. Because somebody could give me a 379 ductwork box and I drill the rivets out and it'll look exactly like this. Yeah. And we paid shipping for it. So, you know, we paid for it and shipping. Yeah, that's true. So I'd rather be able to see it. Yeah. Before, you know, before we spend money. Good point. So I'd like it to be somewhat local. Yeah. They gave us they gave us the phone number for a wrecking yard that's an hour away, and we still may venture there this weekend. So, y'all hang with us. We're gonna get this solved sooner or later. <laughs> and how we end all of our videos? Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank, thank you for today. <laughs>